up YouTube welcome back to all the gas show and we're back with another video guys and today is gonna be a really exciting day today is gonna be a really exciting vlog if you are not subscribed to the channel make sure you are subscribed to the channel because you do not want to miss this episode today now I really don't get that excited anymore like I used to I remember when I was young I used to get excited about everything and now it's kind of hard for me to get excited but today I'm actually really excited. I'm stoked, bro. That's a big word for me right now. That is a big word, but <laughs> the rides we're getting today, there's yeah. something way different. Yes, now we are picking up two new rides today and we are not in Houston. Today, we are in Kansas City. Missouri. 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 Missouri? Missouri. How do you yeah. say it? Missouri? Missouri. Missouri. With, with, or with misery. The, misery. No. <laughs> Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> with the Z. With the Z? No, it's with the S, but you say it with the Z. No? Maybe that's the Mexican way to say it. Missouri. 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 Like, like, like pizza. Mi Missouri. <laughs> Miz Missouri. 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 I don't know. If you're from Missouri or Missouri or whatever, <laughs> let us know how to say it because. Regardless, we're in Kansas City. We're in Kansas City, yes. So, Perrillo actually took the drive two days ago. He got here early. We were supposed to come yesterday, and we did it. We were busy back at home and he took off since monday well he got here yesterday he went to the museum here uh-huh checked out some stuff yeah, yeah yeah what did you learn uh i mean i kind of already knew about the museum i just wanted to go visit i want to go visit you know what i'm saying so what you visit the world war one museum <laughs> i there's nothing to do it's a tuesday so there's fucking bars, bro. There's fucking Applebee's or chill or, hey, or I went to your house at night. Oh, there's Chili's, right? You there have has to, to be a Chili's here. I went to your house. You downtown. can party at Chili's, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I they they got a bar at Chili's or no? Baby. He's what? a little young to be party at Chili's, you know? That's right. That's like more profit age or yeah. something like that. I yeah, drink yeah. no big old beer at your house. <laughs> Anyways, Perillo got here a little early, so he went to the museum here in Kansas City. Uh, but we finally made it. We took the flight this morning. Two hour flight, not too bad. It is colder here, and there is snow. I don't think you can see it. There's a little it's, bit of snow. It's, it's right there. Yeah. No, there's a little bit of snow over there. And Perillo said that at night, it's really, really, really cold here. So today, guys, we are picking up. Is he picking up snow? He's gonna get some snow, or ice, or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. That is snow. It is snow. So today is gonna be a really, really exciting vlog, guys, just because we are picking up two new vehicles here in kansas city now we've never been here in kansas city this is our first time here visiting we're gonna be linking up with our buddy justin and if you know justin this guy builds really cool vehicles not just chevys but a little bit of everything and today guys you're gonna see what we're picking up and i can't wait to show you two different manufacturers two different setups completely now they're both old school they're both obs's but they're both different brands of trucks or vehicles they both got just crazy stuff and I can't wait to show you guys and today is the day. I think that these are really unique vehicles just because they're pretty much restored completely. So we're getting a brand new old school vehicle. Yeah, there are resto mods and there's two different platforms. There's two manufacturers and everything. Yes. So right now we're going to be heading that way. We actually just stopped here and got us a Red Bull because you know you can't start your day without a Red Bull. Now I had a Red Bull already. I drank half of it before we got on the plane. But I'm getting, I got a little sleepy, so, you know, I need a, a pick me up. And this is it right here, Perrillo. No, 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 don't put that. Yeah. All right, so let's go. How you doing, man? Chilling, man. Good. What's so, up, bro? Justin, here, nice to meet you. Our buddy Justin Keith is the owner here at Killer Performance, and uh, we are picking up two brand new rides today. Now we're gonna be checking out the first one. Like I was saying earlier, I met this guy back in 2020, yep. Texas 2K. This guy actually is the one that uh, does streetcar takeover. You do shows all around the U.S. Right? Yeah, we do uh, drag, roll racing, car show events all over the U.S. Matter of fact, we're getting ready to load up and head to Phoenix, Arizona right Phoenix now. Phoenix right now. That's 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 tight. Yep. So. We're here to pick up a 1994 OBS, mm -hmm. but it's not your typical OBS. No. Something more wild, more wicked, crazy. We're pretty much picking up a brand new 1994. Yeah. And I think everybody here is, is uh, ready to check it out. So let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So this truck has 30,000 original miles on it. It was a 200 truck. It's never been in the rain or snow ever in its whole life. And it was very evident of that whenever we were building the truck. But yeah, factory white paint, 
I don't even think there's ever been anything in the bed. Yeah, no, no, no. It looks, it looks brand new. Uh, so you didn't pay none of this. No, no. This it's, is, it's, this is, this is, this is all original. This is all original. Yes. Look at this thing. Uh, and then it's got factory blue bucket interior in it. Pretty cool truck. Um, Thirty thousand miles yeah, original. Thirty-one thousand original. Thirty-one thousand miles original. Yep. Now tell us a little bit of what's all done to the truck, and because I've seen you on uh, social medias and you've yep. been building these things for a while, yep. and this is actually number this is number seven. Number seven. Yeah. So this is number Call seven. The James Bond truck. Double James seven. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now this is an original 1994 truck, all you know, original paint and everything, and it's all redone. Suspension, yeah. frame. It's been power coated. Big brakes. All good stuff what kind of suspension we got what we're so running it's got on this a one? full qa1 level three coilover suspension on it. so it converts the rear to a torque arm coilover setup and then the front is a full true coilover setup with upper lower a arms all that good stuff we powder coat the frame these trucks uh like i said we've built seven of these things so far this truck was actually built for a customer and about three weeks before it was finished up something happened and uh couldn't finish the build and so I ended up buying it back from them and finished it myself and it's been my personal truck for the last few months. But this is definitely probably one of our one of my most favorite trucks we built so far. I just love the white. Yeah, it's, it's, it's white. Yeah, yeah it's just it's, super it, clean. it stands out. Yeah, yeah. And and this truck is honestly it's out of all the trucks we built this is probably the cleanest truck to start with. The the underneath of it was just an immaculate shape. I mean, not even surface rust. Where is it coming from? Uh, if, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me, but this truck came from Michigan. Michigan, okay. okay. Yeah, it came from Detroit, Michigan, but the guy I bought it from said he never, ever had it out from October through April every single year. Then garage kept. Yeah, just, yeah. Just garage kept, climate control, and you can definitely tell when we were building the truck, it's it's super nice. But that, the factory, uh, the factory keyless entry still works on the truck. Everything works. It's like it's like a brand new truck. We use all brand new parts. It's got an LT4 in it, 10-speed transmission, all brand new stuff. No no takeout used motors or anything. So this is all crate. Crate all engine. Brand new stuff brand from new GM. Stuff. Yeah. So pretty much, like I said, a brand new 1994 OBS. Now let's check out the engine. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing. It is. Now you did do color match and stuff like that. Yeah. Right? So when we do these trucks, we we you know we color match the grill, color match the bumpers, mirrors. Yeah. And we put the sport mirrors on. These are actually, this is all OEM stuff that we just had painted. Okay. So we didn't use any uh, aftermarket stuff on this one. Oh, look at this. Damn. So we try to keep everything looking like it would have came from the factory yes, type deal. Yes. So. We build our own intakes. You know, everything's powder coated. The blower's powder coated. It's got our custom uh, Motion Raceworks billet valve covers on there. It's got AC on it, heat. It's full flex fuel, so you can run whatever fuel you want in it. Um, still got the, the OEM hood oh, lamp here oh, that still okay. works. There you go. Yeah, it's got all the catch cans. Yeah, everything. I mean, it's everything works just like a brand new so vehicle. it's 93 e85 yeah you can run yeah you can run 91 93 e85 e50 e60 whatever you want okay, it'll okay. automatically adjust for you and then it's a uh 10 speed 10 speed and uh, and then uh, we're also seeing that it's uh, you can paddle shift yeah so the cool thing about our trucks that i that i like is we keep the column shift in it but if you want to get rowdy, you can flip to the paddles and it'll automatically convert to the paddle shifters kind of like a car yeah pretty much yeah uh this is a, the seventh one that you built, so it's pretty much a walk in the park now. You already know what yeah. needs to be done, what needs to be ordered, and stuff yep. like that. How do you get these brand new engines to work? It's a special harness that they use. And yeah, all that stuff. so uh, we use the Speartech uh, engine harnesses, and we call them up, tell them what transmission engine combo we're doing and what we're putting it in, and they send me a harness that's basically plug and play. There you go. Um, obviously, you know a lot of the electronics for like the interior and stuff. We go through there and clean up the harness, build our own harness for like the headlights, you know, instrument panels, and all that good stuff but yeah steve our uh, tech he's he's built every single one of these from start to finish it's okay. only been one guy also radiators i mean everything yeah so we use a 454 ss truck radiator and some low profile dual cooling fans here electric fans yep and we you know build these little shrouds uh from scratch and yeah it's got the rack and pinion steering in it but uh yeah this is a blower reservoir so if you are at the track or something you can empty this tank out it's got a little valve there you can open you can throw ice in there, ice in there to, just to some, cool down the supercharger and yep, stuff like that yep and, and then this, you said all oh, this is custom made here yeah all this custom made we this one has methanol injection on it too that way you can run your your 93 or 91 oh, fuel okay. without having to have e85 in it because this thing makes about 16 pounds of boost so it's a little bit too much for just pump gas if you're just running pump gas now it's, it's i imagine it's tuned 
Oh yeah, yeah. So it's got it's got cam in it, upper lower pulley, uh, ported blower, everything. It made 802. Oh, to the so tire. it's not a stock LT4. No, it's no. It's ported blower. Okay, so okay, so so we got we got it's got a, nice cam in it. Is it like an aftermarket cam, or is it just another GM cam? No, it's a it's a Brian Tooley Stage Two uh, PDS cam is what okay, we use. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. So Same cam we use in our Z06, Z01 builds that we do okay, here at okay. the shop. So it it has a little chop to it. Oh yeah. Okay, nice, yeah. nice, nice. It's got a 230 upper grip tech pulley, and then the the Bottom is a 906 uh, with ATI damper DSX uh, 906 go. pulley on the. I bottom. thought it was just a stock LT4, no. but I didn't know it was ported and all that, so it's even better now. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're a performance shop. We yeah, gotta, we gotta make things yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> ported blower, tune, and all. How, how much horsepower you made? Uh, 802. So this same, we built obviously a few of these trucks. I've ran one of these at the track before on 20 inch wheels. It went 1040 at 140 miles an hour. 1040. And that's on, just uh, on just some street tires. Yeah. yeah. And that's just a, a little A to B tune, you know, yeah. not even turn it up yeah. or nothing like yeah. that. That could be a nine second pass on some tires. Oh yeah. It'd run, it'd run nines on yeah. tires it'll for run. sure. Hell yeah. yeah. What else we got? So big wheels, big brakes, color match, interiors all uh, original. Now I did see that we have a different cluster. Yeah, it's got a uh, Dakota Digital Gauges uh, cluster in it, and this one also has the retro sound stereo in it. Okay. So we did a we did a stereo. Obviously, these trucks don't come with a very good stereo. So yeah, we did the. It's got the cluster in it now. Uh, oh, so this is okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is aftermarket, but it's made to look like the original. Original, yeah. But it's got Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, everything in it. Yeah, right okay. behind you is the sub, and we replaced the speakers there, there. But it's pretty cool, like the gauges that you turn the headlights on um, and you can get the app and you can change all the colors on the gauges and everything right through the app on your phone now it's got billet aluminum paddles in it nice built especially steering wheel and this is all original this is all original. it came like this door yep. panels the seats yes center console you hardly see these trucks with the center console yeah i know especially yeah. only if they're you i mean if you see a 454 it, or whatever yeah. Yeah, this was this all came factory. I got the window sticker where it shows it came with the bucket seats in it. And it's actually really clean. The headliner's truck. perfect. Yeah. Shape. yeah. So 1994. It makes it special just because it's a 1994, and it's it, it's this clean. Yeah. How, how old is it? 1994. It's almost 30 years old. 30. Yeah. Oh, 29 years old. Damn. Okay. Yeah. It was a really nice truck. I mean, the guy that had it must have really took it. Cause yeah. Yeah. It. It's kind and of. It's hard. got the factory fog lamps in it too. Okay. It came. Factory with the factory. Oh, it came, it came yes, factory with the factory. Yes, which is crazy. You hardly ever see that. This thing was optioned out really crazy from the factory. So. This is badass right here. The, the pedal shifters is yeah, badass. and they're really responsive. It does rev match and everything. Well, let's turn it on. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's just it's just the right sound, you know. You don't want it too loud, especially on this kind of truck. It gets really loud at wide open throttle. Okay. It's got a Morla Morla muffler on there, full custom exhaust, and it's made to sound pretty tame just driving it around. But as soon as you floor it, I don't know, some of that muffler just opens up. I mean, it's loud. Pull it out. Pull it out. Come on. Not like that. I walk up over here and all I hear is pull it out. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Not like that. No. I can't believe it's a 1994. It's an original paint, original interior. It looks this good. Big brakes. I believe they're probably like 60 inch. That was really nice. Everything clear in the front, the lights. Big brakes, right? 60 inch? Yeah, 16 inch brakes in the front, 14 inch brakes in the back. And this way you can put a uh, 17 inch uh, weld on the back. Okay. It'll, okay. It'll pull right on. If you want to get crazy. Yeah, you added all the suspensions, right? You know, it came, the, when I bought it from the guy, it came with all that. Oh, it came with so that? I just left them on there. Was that like a sport truck? Yeah, it kind of. He like almost made his own sport truck because oh. they quit making sport trucks in 93. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So it's what year do they come, the sport, the sport edition? Uh, they did them from, I believe, 89 through 93. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah well, it, goes, it goes really well with the truck, I mean. Yeah, I just left them on there. It kind of gives it a little bit of... Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It sounds really good. It sounds, it sounds just yeah. perfect. Really good sound. And we did the tinted, you know, tinted windshield, tinted all the windows in All the windows it. out, yeah. It's a good cruiser, man. I, I enjoy taking out on, like, some nice Sundays and just... Yeah going for a drive in it. Then if you get a, someone to pull up next to you, you paddle down and racing, they would never suspect it. Yeah, I don't know. They got paddles? Yeah, 
because he's an OBS guy. His first truck was an OBS, so he's really happy right now. He is, he is correct about that. All right, so he's gonna show us pretty much how to drive this thing. I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary, but we're gonna see how much, uh, how much power this truck has, how the paddle shifters work, and all that good stuff. How does it ride with the QA1 suspension? Is it ride good? Rides pretty good, yeah. I've, I've never had a vehicle with the full QA1 suspension. We'll, we'll put, you know, the coilovers here and there, but. For a static drop truck that sits almost tuck and tire like this, yeah. it's about as good of a ride as you're gonna get out of anything. Does it snow here? I didn't know it was snow here. It just snowed here on uh, Saturday. We Saturday. got like four inches of oh, snow. Oh shit, okay. It melted quick though. So it does get really cold. Yeah, yeah, it, it can get really, really cold. Last year around this time, we got a cold streak where it was like 10, to, 10 below zero for oh, like a week straight. Damn, we don't we don't get no snow over there. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. The, the, the coldest over there is probably like 30s, bro, 40s. If it's, yeah. 40, if it's 30s, everybody's going crazy. You know what I <laughs> mean? There's no snow. We get a lot of hurricanes and stuff like that over there. Yeah. It's, it's hot and humid, but uh, it's nice over here. It's first time going coming over here to Kansas. It's a different feel. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's automatically you just. Yep. And then after about 10 seconds, if you don't use them, it'll just go right back into oh, drive. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is the tranny complete stock? Yeah, because these are 10 L90s, so these, okay. these transmissions will hold, you know, 1100 horsepower. Okay. Okay. Doing so anything. gotcha. 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 So they're a little bit more built than the ones that come in the Fords. So we're pretty much riding right now and it feels good, smooth. A drag radio tire, right? This no, it's just a street, street tire. Yeah. But they do sell a 20. They do. It's it's just a weird size because they sell a 20, but it's uh. It's not that wide. It it's a little bit wider and it's almost just wide enough to where they won't fit. Oh, okay, I gotcha, 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 gotcha. They make gotcha. a 275, but the the sidewall is a little short. We ran them on a couple of our previous builds and they uh -huh. work. They work. It just the bigger tire looks a little bit better in the back. Okay. So this thing is quirky. Yeah, and it's cold out, you know. Oh, it's loud. It's loud when you hit it. Yeah, at least I have to start at a lower gear or else it'll just blow the tires off. Nice and clean. I actually like the mood too. You know, I I didn't like it at first, but after being in it, I actually really yeah. like the blue. Because either it's the blue or it's the gray. Yeah. Right? I or love the gray. or the maroon. Yeah, the, I, I have one truck with like a, the light tan and it's really nice. Like they had two different tans in these trucks. One okay. looked like a more of like a gold. Okay. The tan I got is like tan tan. Tan. Like it's, okay. it's nice. All right, what color truck? Red truck. Oh, red truck. Okay, yep. okay, okay. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. And it's got factory buckets in it. Factory too. buckets. Where do you be finding all these uh, clean ass wow. trucks? <laughs> I browse. I, I, I look under rocks on Facebook. Okay. And I, I look everywhere. I have some honey holes I won't tell you guys about yeah, where I find yeah. some trucks. I but. seen that you bought, I think it was for your dad. Yeah. It was a 2003 Cat Eye 4, 5, I don't know. How many miles did that thing have? It had 11,000 miles 11, on it. How much did you pay for that truck? I paid 25. 25,000? It. And it is it is the nicest cat eye truck I've ever seen besides when they were brand new yeah. at the dealership. And are you doing anything crazy on that my, one? Or? My dad's actually uh, doing the doing his own build in his garage. Okay. So he, uh, we just pulled the bumpers and everything off of it. Had all color matched. We got some custom three piece uh, billet wheels for it. Uh huh. We're gonna lower it down and probably do a little cam and some headers. Okay, okay, it's okay. gonna be his little cruiser, but that truck is just mint. No, no engine swap. No engine swap no on engine that swap. one. Yeah. yeah. It'll be nice to put it on two four. I know. I know. Now maybe, what is maybe one day? Yeah. What is the difference between this truck and I see you build two LT fives? So the LT five trucks are, are really badass. So the, obviously the LT fives just got the wow factor in them. Uh, is it the same engine, just a different supercharger? Basically, yeah. The LT5, it's a dry sump engine, so we have to put a dry sump okay. link system in them. Um, so it's obviously got port and DI injection, so we have to run the port injection with a Holly system. But other than that, they're the same. They make a little bit more top-end power. But honestly, these trucks, the LT4 is almost is about perfect for these trucks. Okay, so it's, it's good enough. Yeah.
right, guys, we're back at the shop. The truck runs badass, it runs good. Uh, now, Justin's gonna tell us a little bit of what all he does here at Killer Performance. And I see another OBS, and it looks yep. like it's getting the same package, right? Yeah, so this one's a little different. So this, this truck came up from Texas, uh, and the owner actually already did some suspension work himself on there. He did some brakes. He basically brought to us to do our 10-speed and LT4 combination in it. So we actually just got the LT4 10-speed sitting in there now. Steve's been working on doing the wiring and getting all the accessories all hooked up. Um, we went ahead and powder coated the front core support for them. Okay. Got that on there and then we're gonna start, once we're pretty much at the point now where we're gonna start putting his uh, wheel liners back in it and putting the front end back on. We got the blower off getting ported at uh, Joker's Performance right now. It's gonna be LT4 or LT5? LT4. LT4. Yep. Okay, before we continue on and go with everything else, this one's getting the same pretty much package as that one. Now this one already kind of came halfway done. Yeah. How much money would you say you will spend to do something like that white truck. So, Not including the truck, just the right. part, motor, and transmission, suspension, brakes, all the good stuff. That that package that we did on that truck is about 115,000. 115,000. Yep. 115,000 to do the parts and labor and everything just to have it like that. Yeah, and that's, you know, doing all the, the painted bumpers, yeah, the yeah. paint correction, all that stuff after we're done. That's like turnkey, delivery, everything ready rock and roll. That's not including the vehicle. Not including the truck. Not including the truck. You have so, to supply me with a nice truck. And it has to be a nice truck because if not, then you have to pretty much redo the whole, yeah. paint the whole truck again, get the interior stuff, and that's just gonna cost you way more money. And I seen that you do it. You did a brown one, LT5. Yep. That one you did interior. That one you did paint. Yeah. That one you did that. How much? How much did you spend on that one? Uh, by the time that truck was all said and done, being the LT5 package, it was he had probably about 190 in that. 190. Bit. So almost 200 thousand dollars on a old school truck. Now it's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But also you're getting the best of the best stuff. It you is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's and, and it's unique as well. Like I mean, I'm sure you're not the only one that's done these LT4 swaps, but I tell you, they are the cleanest. They're nice, yeah. We we take a lot of pride in you know the aesthetics of the way this stuff looks. It's not all thrown together. It's it's yeah. all done very nice, done and nice. they perform well too. Like we we build them so you can go out and beat on them. So if they perform like they should, and it looks good, and everything's done professionally, nicely, the wiring, all the good stuff, it's all special made for these uh, for these trucks. Yeah. Yep. So, Pretty much every nut and bolt on the truck besides the interior and the body of the truck gets replaced with brand new stuff. So that's what that has right there. Yeah. So it's $115,000 just in, in all the extra stuff plus the truck. And you can, you know what I'm saying, you get you, like I said, pretty much a brand new 1994 OBS. Now, if I was to bring you a cat eye, because I got a real badass cat eye. Yeah. Well, it's not a super sport, it's a clone, right? Yeah, it's, it's a clone. Do you know, you know the super sport trucks? Like oh, yeah. Cats. Oh, yeah. I got a single cat, it's really, really clean. How much would it run to do something like this? Probably if we just do like the engine and trans and all the wiring and stuff, probably, probably 50, 50, 40, 50,000. 50,000, that's just to, just to make, and that, that's include everything. Uh, that yeah, that's including everything to make it all work. Make it all work, that'd yeah. be badass, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. On, on, a, on a clean truck like that, I've been having that truck for a long time, and it's just painted, but it's all stock, stock motor, stock interior. I need to show you a picture so you can check it out. We might be getting with Justin here so we can start on another project. He also wanted me to bring the V. You got a, a yeah. Escalade V yourself, right? Yep, did the Escalade V, and then we got another V that just got dropped off from Florida the other day. We're getting ready to build. So what are you doing to the to yours? Uh, mm -hmm. Mine, we're doing heads. Well, so we just did a pulley meth kit tune. Now we're gonna be doing heads, cam, ported blower, fuel system, make it flex fuel, everything. I mean, it's- On a brand new Escalade. On a brand new Escalade, Damn. why not? How much power was that gonna have? All said and done. Uh, Close to a thousand maybe? I'm, nah, I'm hoping for like around 800 all wheel horsepower. Okay, all, okay, 800, damn. Yeah. And they come with what, 700 and what? To the crank? They come with they come with 680 to the crank. Oh, 680. But the they're crank. making, guys are making like 520 to 540 on an actual dyno. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I mean a 300 horsepower 300 increase horsepower. is what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with the stuff that you did to the Escalade right now, the tune and everything, it, yeah. it woke up? Oh yeah. It, yeah, it, it's and now with the heads and cam and everything, it's gonna be a totally yeah, different it's monster. Be a totally different monster. We yeah. might have to bring the V over here. Intake, part of supercharger, or maybe a tune here and there. We just want to wake up the truck a little bit, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah. After we bring, I'll the be gas. back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Let's talk about this uh, ZR1. Yeah. So this uh, ZR1, it's a it's a max effort build that we're doing at the shop. So we pretty much got everything done on it. Steve's just installing the ice tank on it right now. Okay. So that way it uh, it was getting some really hot blower temps. I mean, we got that blower spun hard right now. It's 
making 24 and a half pounds of boost out of a 2650. So we needed to put an ice tank in it. So that's what Steve's doing right now. But this is a basically a 2000 mile 19 ZR1 made uh, just right at 1100 horsepower. Yeah, 1100 horsepower yeah. Yeah. I see a bunch of Camaros and Corvettes here. Is, this, is that your speciality? You know, right now, if you'd have came in here yesterday, it'd been mostly Fords oh, from this oh, way down, okay. but we, we work on everything. So right now we just happen to have all GMs in here. This, uh, this ZL1 here got our uh, 900 horsepower package, which is a stock blower still, LT4, but it makes like not right at 900 of the tire. And it still drives all stock. Uh, we're putting a clutch in it right now. So another ZR1. Uh, this one's basically a mirror image of the other white one. It got the same build. Heads, cam, ported blower, fuel system. And we're also putting the ice tank in it right now. So different owners. Different owners, yeah. So we're putting a uh, putting the same ice tank that that one's getting. Kind of these cars kind of got built side by side, so. Okay. So pretty much okay. Yeah. All together, we got an old school. Not only does he do work on new cars, but also old school cars. Yeah, yeah. We've we've been getting into this a lot more lately. So this is a uh, this is an LS3 uh, Camaro, but it's got a manual trans in it. We just did a full custom oval exhaust on there, and now we're putting. A, uh, he wanted a roll bar in it, so we're, yeah. we're doing the roll bar, and then we're also going to be changing the seats out in it. But this car came from Florida; it's actually a Chiefs player. Oh shit! So, on yeah. the oval exhaust, what does that mean? So the it's, it's so low clearance down there; it's got a full custom frame in it okay. that the, the exhaust it came in with was just low ground clearance. So yeah. we we bought an oval stainless exhaust, and it's oval all the way to the back. Does that make a, a difference on the sound? Yeah, it does. Man, we're gonna have to do that. Yeah, try it out. Yeah, try it out. Almost so makes it sound like a like a NASCAR sound. Oh, really? Don't tell me that. Don't get it. You're gonna get them excited, bro. So you bought the pipe already, like that? Or or or? Yeah. So or, you can buy the oval pipe, and then once you buy the oval pipe, we got a fabricator here, and he made oh, the whole exhaust. As a matter of fact, I don't know where cams at. We could kind of put up in there and show you guys. It, it sounds it sounds rowdy. Like really rowdy. May not have the battery hooked up. Yeah, the battery's not battery's hooked up. Off, off. Yeah. We'll, we'll check it out another day. But what's up with this uh, convertible? Oh, race car. Camaro. So yeah, we we've done work on this thing all do the way. They, do they make? I don't know. They make them convertible. Yeah, yeah, they make convertible Camaros. There's no not a lot of them. We ain't got no convertible Camaros in Houston. Yeah. So this one uh, came in. We've done everything to it from when this car was bone stock, but it's got a built build engine it now. D1X Pro Charger. It's turned up. Everything's turned up. It should make a ride under a thousand. A thousand. Everything yeah. Yodi, not a Chevy. So this was kind of a more of a more of a budget build okay. that we're doing for a customer. Okay. He didn't want anything to look super fancy kind of wanted it to kind of yeah kinda look a nice like, look with the truck yeah, yeah 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 so we did a coyote swap on this it's got a six-speed auto transmission in it full qa1 coil over suspension on it and yeah i mean he he wants to basically just have this as a driver pretty much so, so he didn't it's a gen 2 engine right if it's yeah this good. is a gen 2 engine you know he didn't want anything powder coated just sandblasted he kind of wanted the rugged look. yeah that old school yeah, yeah, yeah that, but this that. truck it's got big brakes on it it's got good wheels and tires uh good suspension it's got rack and pinion steering in it now this oh. thing came in just completely stock old farm truck Back. yeah yeah it's pretty cool so we're okay. getting ready to uh send the rear end off get the rear end all built and this is coated. this is qa1 or yeah, no? this is a full qa1 suspension kit just like we put on the trucks wow i've never seen never seen something like this going through the middle yeah, the old uh, white truck's got that same hey, torque on it. No yeah. shit. Yep. That looks like a, like, like, a, like a ladder bar that goes over here on this side, but it's... Yeah. And it holds the the rear end. Yeah, it's what controls like the pinion angle oh, of the rear end. Oh, so it don't, it, don't, it don't do this. Oh. Yep. So the white one has all this stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's badass. It's, it's going to come out real nice once it's all yeah. set done. Yeah, it'll be a, a pretty cool truck, you know. Yeah, so we're, this one's getting ready to Yours? get... Yours? No, so no. this is a, a customer out of Florida. This is actually going to be a really, really fast car when it's done. So it's getting ready to go and get all this stuff painted Okay. and looking nice. And then we got all the turbo kit and everything already built for it. So the turbos, they actually mount right here. Right That's there. the oil drains. Y'all built all this here? Yeah, we did everything. So you have a, like a chassis guy? or Yeah, like a... Cam. I don't know where he's at. Oh, Cam, okay. He may be at his, getting ready to have a baby. Okay. So there you go. they're probably at the doctor's. But yeah, we did the full firewall everything in it and it's going to be like a 2000 plus horsepower sure. dragon drive car okay, okay, so okay. it's going to be made to be a street car street car radio yeah type deal and yeah. i'm guessing the front end gonna be removable so no? we we have it to where like the you know like the hood and everything will pin off and the fenders are really easy to take off but no it's not okay, a full, okay, okay, okay. still got I, factory I was, I was looking at this and i was like yeah, okay still factory fenders factory front bumper but does have a uh, pin on hood 
But yeah, it, it looks wicked when the turbo kit's on there. Everything's mirror image. Y'all yeah, did the turbo kit here yeah. as well. Everything yeah, here, we everything in house. Everything, everything in house uh, here at Killer Performance. And uh, whoa, Justin showed us a little bit of everything here at the shop. He's, he works on all kinds of vehicles, not only new vehicles, but old school Chevys, old school Fords. And there's way more work in the back, but we ain't gonna talk about all that. <laughs> what we are gonna be talking about is the other ride that we came here to pick up as well. And this one's very different. It's similar, but it's not, right? Yeah. Can we say that? Yeah. It's very similar to the white truck, but it's not similar to the white truck. Are you guys ready? You ready for this? Not ready. Not ready? <laughs> I think uh, they've been waiting for us to show them the second vehicle, so let's go ahead and do that. Where's it at, is it in the front? Yeah, yeah, thanks Steve. This one's built for speed. This one's built for, okay. Built for speed, yeah. It's more of a, I'm gonna go to the drag strip and kind of just make everyone kind of go wow. Okay. It is wow, and it's probably one of the first ones that very, I've seen. It's very unique, it's very, very unique truck. All right, guys, and here is where you guys gotta wait to the next episode. We're gonna be talking about this, but you guys are gonna have to wait for the next episode. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Psych! <laughs>